I'm delighted to say that another very, very favourite lady of mine has been at a function earlier on tonight, but she's just taking a few minutes on the way home to pop in and say hello to us all. Would you welcome, please, Uktharan the Heron, Mary McAleese, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> welcome. Uktharan, hello. How are you? How are you bearing I'm, up? I'm grand, I'm grand, I'm grand. And how are you? Very bad, thank you. Very You're the best, are you? Yeah, well, I've just had an awful job for the last five minutes. You what won't believe that? what I've spent the last five minutes doing. You thought the bike was a joke, didn't you? Yes, I did. I still well, I've been in the dressing room squeezing Kathleen Watkins into her black leathers. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a matching set for you. You're both going home to host tonight in style. <laughs> Whether we like it or not. Home Whether you like it or not. Well, that, you were out all day, presumably officiating and all of that. I was, well, I was in the house actually quite a bit of today. I was out this morning opening um, a centre for autistic children in the yes. school in St Bridges and Finglas. And then in the afternoon we had a garden party in the Arras, which was a complete panic. We had all of the Special Olympics team. Yes. And it was just fantastic. Well, they danced the afternoon away. It was wonderful. Great fun. And then what? You were at something this evening. Then we did dinner, and yeah, then dinner, and, and now I'm here. Yeah, well, you're very, very so the night is yet come. young. So, so you better explain to them why you're here. Well, why I'm here? Yes. Well, to follow the song. I was just thinking, actually, as Sarah was singing, you know, that um, you're holding up very well. You're bearing up very well. But all over the country, when people hear that song, which was so appropriate for tonight, there are people who are sitting crying, you know, tonight. Yes. They are. They're very deeply sad. Mm. And I was thinking of all the people I know they have written to you, they've emailed, they've phoned, they've sent letters and then, but there are a lot of people still trying to get through and I thought I'd just come here tonight and say thank you on behalf of all of us. Just a very simple thank you. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Very kind of you. Thank you. But what are your, have your memories of the show? Were you, well, were you into you've, it you've entertained us. You have educated us, you've exasperated us, yes. and you've provoked us. And you and have guested on it. And I've guested and on it many a time. Yes. And what more, can, what more can anybody ask over 37 years? I think one of the, th I have a lot of memories of the show, but I think, uh, leaving aside the memories, because everybody has their own pocket of memories, it's just the, 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 sheer, the sheer brilliance of being able to do this week in, week out for 37 years. It's extraordinary. And to be able to hold an audience for that length of time, which spans a lot of generations. I mean, most of the audience here are involved in one way or another in television, so uh, they know, and I know a little bit, about what it's like to be a live broadcaster. I had a very uh, short career as a live broadcaster, short enough, <laughs> short enough to traumatise me for the rest of my life, uh, because anybody who's ever been involved in live broadcasting knows that you spend your time in a state of controlled hysteria at best. And it calls for nerves of absolute steel. And you could do it for a while, but to do it for 37 years is just unbelievable. And to be able to hold a live show of this length, prime time television, week in, week out, dealing with the kind of range of guests, moving from entertainment to pathos, uh, moving from stories of real, you know, just human awfulness, tragedy, to, to humour the next. It's, well, you don't know, but the rest of us who observe, you know just how extraordinary a genius that calls for. And I think one of the great things that I take pride in is that um, so many other television channels have tried to imitate this show. And they've tried and they failed. And no one but RTE and no one but you has been able to do it so successfully for this length of time. And I think it is. It's a source of national pride to us that in this place there we've been able to do <clears throat> There you are. But the time has come. The time has come, Uchtharan, and all things must end. So. What, I, what I'm trying to figure now is, uh, for, in years in, for years in our house, um, the Late Late Show was the night you got the takeaway, you bought the ba somebody was sent for the bag of marshmallows, the Coke, the crisps, the, all the junk food. We would sit down, and for the two hours, mm. you would watch the programme. And you brought in the Chinese takeaway or the fish and chips. And all that was part and part. And then the next day, Every day, then every Saturday or Sunday would start with, did you, did you watch the, the show last night? 
And even if you hadn't seen it, by the end of the week you thought you had seen it because so many people had felt obliged to tell you blow by blow, word for word. And it always lasted far longer than the two hours conversation, Absolutely. I can tell you. Well, and what so, were they at again? And what was he doing? And what does he think he's doing? I know, and I mean, many around in our house started that way. Did you watch the Late Late Show last night? <laughs> <laughs> and I always think you're a great buffer because my mother's great defence always was, well, I mean, it wasn't I who said it, it was Gay or it was somebody on Gay's show who said it. Yes, that was so it was great. You were a great, you got, well, it was great to have somebody else to blame. That's right. It was great. And you did that. I mean, in a way, you were the buffer. So many conversations were able to be, ex you were able to explore things in the house around the dinner table that you mightn't have been able to explore otherwise because you'd raised them on the show here and you were able to kind of you know, instead of quoting yourself or what you were feeling, well, it was somebody on Gay Show said it, or Gay himself said it. But, but tell me this, did you really not like television very much, working in it? I mean, oh, I loved it. You I, loved and it I, I loved the teamwork, but I loved the yes, camaraderie. Yes. Live television, I couldn't say I loved. No, no, I didn't, I was petrified of it. No. But you went on to greater things, didn't you? I mean, you well, I went on to other things, <laughs> whatever <laughs> about greater things, I went on. I went on. It was a good training. It was a very good training for live television for all sorts yes, of things. Yes, yeah. by golly, and it's standing to you still because mm. you can address a crowd, you can get up and do your thing and want no bother to you. That's exactly no right. To you. Nothing would ever frighten you again <laughs> after, you, after you... Well, after you have actually faced what, is, what you know is your mother, whatever about the rest of the audience yes. being live, the one that really frightens yes. you, in my case anyway, was my mother because she was usually the first person on the phone after the show saying, did you have to wear that old red jacket again? <laughs> have you nothing else to wear? <laughs> oh, I should be at it again tonight. <laughs> All great fun. Ukhtaran, thank you very much indeed for coming. You are thank very, you, very Gay. good. Thank I'm you. so grateful to you. you. I know you've you had a long you. day. God Goodbye bless you. Take care. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy. Okay. Enjoy the bike. We will. Enjoy the bike. I have to cope with that here. God bless you and thank you very you much. Can ride, can you can ride, can you? Oh, I can. Oh, I certainly can. Goodbye to you and thank you.